In business tonight, more than a dozen of the world's leading artificial intelligence firms have made fresh commitments to ensuring the safety of their technology on the opening day of the AI Seoul Summit, an event co-hosted by the United Kingdom and South Korea. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak says the commitment aims for transparency and accountability in the development of AI. The agreement builds on consensus reached at the inaugural Global AI Safety Summit in the UK last year. The 16 firms that have committed to the safety rules include US tech titans Microsoft, Amazon, Meta and IBM, as well as France's Mistral AI and China's Zhipu AI. And for more details, Oli Barrett joins us live from London. Oli, how significant is this deal and what does it entail? Well, the UK and South Korea certainly believe that it is significant. And one of the reasons they believe that is to do with the number of huge technology firms, some of which you mentioned there, that have signed up to this new agreement. And the uh, British and the South Koreans certainly feel that that demonstrates uh, a, a real move forward when it comes to the uh, possible safety of AI in the future. It does see those firms committing to what are called safety the outcomes when it comes to developing various AI products. It also means that they commit to effectively saying that they won't pursue certain models or products if they can't uh, feel sure uh, that the safety of those uh, models and products might be guaranteed at some point in the future. If safety thresholds can't be guaranteed, then those firms would commit not to press ahead with one project or another on that basis. Um, thresholds, it's described as by the UK and the British. Um, and also we're told that there will be uh, input from trusted actors, including home governments as appropriate, while these companies and governments work on uh, further uh, potential regulations and thresholds that they uh, expect to discuss at a major AI summit in France in 2025. That's called the AI Action Summit. And the UK is very keen to point towards the list of companies that have signed up, uh, particularly Zhipu of China, the UK very keen to stress indeed that they have uh, got the involvement of at least one major Chinese AI company as they move to what they uh, say is a significant agreement at the uh, day one of this summit in Seoul, co-hosted by the British and the South Koreans. All right, it is day one and security is a very big deal as well as alignment globally. But what else can we expect to come out of this co-host the summit, AI Soul Summit. Yeah, so a lot of day one has been virtual. That's how the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has been uh, involved in the summit, which has had some very high level figures uh, getting together for discussions and to announce this agreement with these tech companies on day one. On day one, we haven't seen involvement from China at government level. But on day two, we're told um, uh, that certainly the South Korean officials are expecting that China will send uh, representation of some sort. Day two uh, on Wednesday will be an in-person uh, meeting. It will involve ministers from uh, governments and countries around the world and also uh, experts in the AI field. And day two is going to have a particular focus actually on some of the potential positives from AI. And that's something that the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has been stressing, which is that he believes that you do need to try and sort out safety outcomes and regulations. Um, as much as possible so that there can be safety and security around the future of AI. But he says it's also important to work out how you can grasp some of the positive opportunities that AI presents. And so that'll be a major focus on day two. Oh, thanks. Oli Barrett reporting live there from London.